Hello everyone, it's Deli here. How you're all doing? Hope you're having a lovely start to the week and we are back to building our orphanage. And I'm really happy because you guys seem to be enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. It's nice just to sit back and relax and build for a bit, you know? So without further ado, get yourself a cuppa, get comfy. Why am I putting an accent on that's really cringe? I don't even know what accent that is. Let's just relax and get into it. Cheers. Okay, dear key. So if you guys haven't seen the previous episodes of this series, you will more than welcome to watch them. I'll link the playlist down below. But just as a summary of what we've done so far, um, we have, let's just start with the main level. So you go up these stairs, you enter through here. There is a lovely formal lounge room in this orphanage. There is a lovely kitchen, all very traditional, a very formal dining room, which we said the kids would need to dress up for. A bathroom with a ton of windows, but who knows, sometimes people like to bathe in front of windows and I don't know why you do that, but who knows? That might be your thing. No judgment whatsoever. <laughs> then we have the head mistress room over here, which I thought ended up really pretty. Very blue, of course. Um, but, you know, sometimes matchy matchy is fun. And we're figuring out what to do with these rooms. A lot of you guys were saying um, one of the highest thumbs up comments was, is that, that's not English, is it? Um, was to make a office for the headmistress. And then downstairs is the kid's bedroom. We also have a learning room over here, which I thought was kind of cool with all these little books and lamps. It's so cute. And of course the lower level is looking a little bit more run down. So where the kids actually stay and sleep, there's some holes in the walls. Um, there's a bathroom here with lots of water damage. This just always reminds me of Moaning Myrtle's bathroom, any water damage and creepiness like this in bathrooms. I just think of Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> there's some toys in here, showers, and we did also start to make a secret room. Oh my gosh, what happens to our basement area? Oh no, it's over here. Sorry, I got the wrong end of the basement. There's a staircase that goes down to a laundry room and you wouldn't know it, but behind one of these bookcases is a kind of a scary room and some of you guys were saying maybe a kid's been locked down here because they're an alien or a vampire and the mistress is worried about taking care of them and then someone else said why don't you make it like a nice room for a vampire maybe they are in secret but they can just have like a vampire bed down here so it's not as depressing uh, so I thought that was quite a good idea so I think we will put like a vampire coffin thing in here and I'm just trying to remember what happens for vampire kids can they sleep in the coffins because I don't find out if they're a vampire Empire until they're a teen, right? They don't actually have any powers yet. I'm going to put this down here and I might have got this wrong, but at least there's like a vampire unit down there in any case. So it kind of alludes to that type of storytelling. Now, I think next up we should do the office of the mistress. I almost feel like the office should be on this level because I feel like the head mistress would take new parents to be into her office first. So I'm wondering if we should do that. Like, could we have these rooms come out a little bit further or is that going to really ruin the look and feel of the build? I think I'm going to go ahead and bring a couple of these rooms out because it does look like we can make a little bit more space. And then from doing so, we're going to be able to include an extra office slash room. Luckily, the roof is very easy to change. We just have to pull it back a little bit. No worries. And then let's see if we can create a new room over here that can be like a little office. You know, how far can we pull out this balcony? Can it be brought out all the way to here? If we move this room out. Okay, we do have the extra room over here now. So this is going to be the head mistress's office, which I think is something that you guys really wanted. And I think it's something that'll look really good. So we need to put a nice little roof here. I don't want to interrupt these windows because I love these windows so much. So I'm thinking we actually just go with a really simple diagonal roof that's very, very low. Uh, so we don't interrupt those windows too much. We'll just copy the exact same roof type, ceiling type. I want to get the same kind of trim there. And you know what? What is it going to look like if we do move those windows up? Is it going to look odd? No, they should really stay at that height. I think it's going to be okay. I think it kind of works if we just go like this. 
Does this look odd? I mean, we could just move this brick part out just like that. So it's like a closed corridor through here. And then that makes me think that all of this should just be brick as well. So it just kind of blends in with the house. I think it looks cool, you guys. I think that works. And then in terms of a window, we can just put another window like this. And then the door from the lounge room goes into this room. So this is going to be the headmistress office. This is where a couple of parents might be brought in to meet the headmistress and talk about the kids and what is going to happen with them, if they want to adopt them, if they're suited to their family, etc., etc. And then I think we should also maybe move this lamp to the side. I don't know what we want to do here with Farmer Joe's stuff. Maybe we'll put Farmer Joe's stuff over there. And we'll probably have to even this out with another lamp over there. What is going on with these windows? Okay, I think that looks kind of cute. Let's get this cats and dogs desk because it's so beautiful. I love it. And we could do like an Anna Wintour desk, Vogue desk, where the desk is kind of next to the wall. You know when the devils wear Prada, the devil wears Prada how they do that oh and I love this chair what color should we go for should we do like a red room oh a purple room is kind of powerful I kind of like that maybe let's do purple for a change oh or the royal blue because we have green in that room I feel like we should change it up a little bit so maybe let's go for some purples does this come in a purpley color this comes in a blue color if we did blue it could match the headmistress's bedroom so it kind of all does tie in it's like the clues of the colors go with the rooms that certain sims are in. I mean, maybe the headmistress's favorite color is blue because she has an icy cold heart. Or maybe she's just a really nice person who likes blue. The storytelling is up to you guys if you want to download this. I think we'll just size down this rug because it kind of ties in with the blues and the browns already in the room. I'm already gonna go ahead and say it that I'm not really happy with the blue wallpaper that we've chosen. What about this one? This one's pretty, like, pretty cool. Maybe we'll go with this and then we can put some like, do we want to do the same curtain as here or do we want to do like a vampire dramatic curtain on the wall? Is there a blue colorway? I thought there was a blue colorway, but there might not be. This is the one that I was looking for. I think we used it in the bedroom. So is that turquoisey blue? I don't know if there is, oh, there we go. There's the royal blue. So it's a little bit different to the blue that we have on the walls, but I still think it kind of works. And then there is the problem that this door is a green color and I don't know if we want like green and blue so maybe we'll just make this a plain wooden door just to play it safe and uh, should the desk be lighter yeah I think the desk should be a little bit lighter we'll put a computer in here because we do need to have a computer in the household because a lot of the sims actions depend on having a computer in the house so let's definitely go ahead and do that and then maybe let's get like a royal blue lamp or a lighter blue. The, la the lighter blue might be needed to kind of tie it all in. Ah, oh, no, we'll just do the darker blue. It works, it works. And then we should probably have some kind of books or files on the table. Where were our last files that we had? Actually, I don't mind this book. We can just put this book here because that's a newie. This came in a recent base game update. So if you guys have updated your games, you should have that now. We definitely need some kind of bookshelf in here because you'd need to have all of the kids records nearby if you were running an orphanage I do like this one I'm just wondering if there's just not enough room by putting that there maybe we'll put it at the back of the room over here does that match everything we've got going on in here maybe we'll match it to the floorboards to make it a little less yikes <laughs> in terms of the color scheme okay I'm pretty happy with that and then we should put maybe a chair that someone can sit on who's in the office if the kids have been naughty they have to sit in the office on this naughty chair otherwise it's just what people who are coming to the orphanage will sit on when they're looking to adopt a child Honestly, it would make sense to have two of them, but I don't know if we're going to be able to fit them in because it's it's pretty tight at this stage. I would like to make this slightly bigger. I mean, we could. The only problem with doing that is that we're going to have to extend the balcony to kind of wrap around the back, I think. Like the balcony would have to go all the way over here. So it'd have to be like this because I've just brought the balcony out a little bit. Is this going all the way around the balcony? We need to definitely move this out. Okay, so it now looks like this. We've got a full length balcony going over there. And then I've just moved this window across and we do have this 
corridor area, which I kind of like. I kind of like that this is a big, like, ooh, mysterious little corridor going down there. I think we'll delete this under the staircase, too, because we don't really need that. I mean, it'd be fun being a kid here. You could run around and play outside by going underneath the house and stuff. Okay, well, that'll make this room a lot more spacious and it'll make a little bit more sense because it was just a little bit too cramped before and it did not look particularly professional for my liking. Do we want to maybe get a wider bookcase? Because these are looking a little slender. This is looking a little bit short. This, will this go next to each other? Oh, perfect. I like that a lot. And maybe we'll do it in this slightly darker colorway. Just like that. Now with this rug, I'm going to pull it back because if the rug is underneath just the desk area, it kind of symbolizes that you're separate from these chairs, which means there's a bit of hierarchy. Whereas if we include all of them together, it's like we're, we're a happy family, which they could be, or they could not be. It's like, I am boss. You know what? Let's, let's be nice today. <laughs> I will pop that there over the window. And I'm thinking, what should we have on either side of these walls? Do we just put like a couple of plants in, you know, just make it look nice with these. I mean, I like these plants. These came with get together and I've used them in a lot of mansion builds and oh i kind of like the brown because we've got a lot of warm colors in here i keep going to change this desk color i'm just i i do like the lighter desk i i definitely do like the lighter desk but tempted to change it do we want to have some maybe some lamps on the wall maybe up a little higher i don't like it sitting in the middle of this wallpaper it looks a little odd so we'd have to go like that which means these are all of a sudden a little bit too tall for my liking. We're gonna have to go with these and then everything can kind of sit nicely in its place. Cool, so we have the head mistress's office there with a couple of chairs for Sims to come in for their interviews. Now, downstairs, I'm thinking that maybe we do this room. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bedrooms. Uh, or seven beds and we could have an eighth over here because we were thinking this might be like the favorite kids room or the mistress's daughter or son and then over here could be the butler's wing so i might do that i might keep how many beds are currently here and i don't want to use these beds because these look like military beds these were kind of a really cute idea for the orphanage it definitely makes this look a lot nicer and like the kids are much better looked after than we might have thought they were going to be to begin with so this could be this could be pretty cool but it is a little bit more modern like if these beds are more traditional looking I think I would go for that one otherwise double beds are kind of I don't know I want to do single beds I think for the kids I really love these beds these are from the Henry Puffer CC pack but I realized that you guys aren't going to be able to download it as easily if I use that pack. So pretty much we've got to decide between maybe these beds or these beds, which I love these, but just a little unsure of which colorway to use. I mean, the red's really cute. If we go to this wallpaper, maybe we can just keep the beds as they are. This, you know, this like white beds, white bed spread. And this room's enormous now because we've extended this side. So I'm kind of tempted to make this classroom a little bit bigger, but then we have the issue of it intersecting this little area. So maybe we just have a really big and generous bedroom. So we do have a little bit of room for more dresses and more toys and whatnot. So let's do that. Oh, do I want to put it this way? No, nah, we'll go between the windows like this. So let's get some bedside tables in here. Maybe we should have some tables that go across by two lengths, which makes me kind of think of these trestle tables. I really love those. Or maybe these little ones are kind of, kind of the cutest and are going to work the best. Do we go white or just the dark woods are a little bit more traditional looking. So then each kid kind of has a little bit of room to put their belongings on either side. Should we go with traditional lanterns to make it look a little bit more old fashioned or even candelabras would be a little bit creepy. Or oh, wait, why don't any of these lamps sit on top of... They could have these burning candlesticks. It could really go in so many directions. I'm actually going to go with these super traditional lamps between the beds and maybe between these ones, we'll have just a single table. Wait. 
which pack was this table from? This table is just a base game one. Okay, well, that doesn't really help us, does it? So perhaps we should go with something like this for these bedside tables over here. Those look pretty sweet. We'll go with the same lamps, all very matchy matchy, same, same. Or actually, I could just move this over to here and do the exact same thing on this side of the room, which isn't too bad. So this is called a buyer beware, and I actually don't know what this object does. Uh, I think it's just decor. This treasure chest will gladly devour your precious items to keep them safe from harm. So I thought these could be like in Harry Potter, you know how they have their chests at the end of the beds. I thought that could be kind of like where each of their belongings go. And sometimes if anything's confiscated, they might have those locked. I would also love a fireplace in this bedroom, but I don't think we're gonna be able to fit it in. I mean, we could put a fireplace over here, which I definitely am kind of inspired by the Hogwarts dorm rooms in this. Okay, so I've just rearranged this a little bit. So then we can have a fireplace kind of in the middle of the room and there are singular bedside tables next to the beds that the kids can probably share. So I think that's kind of nice. It's a little bit more old fashioned and that's how the rooms get heated up, which is kind of sweet. And then in terms of curtains, what should we do here? Do we want to do like these traditional ones? It's a hard choice. We can do these ones, which kind of look creepy. I mean, it would be nice to be able to see the outdoors. And I feel like these ones, they just look like they would get so dusty. Does anyone think that when you see big curtains, I'm just like, <gasps> the dust factor. This could actually work. This is actually the perfect size. Oh, and we could introduce a different color this way. We could actually have this dusty green in here. That would be really cute, actually. Um, again, bit of a dust factor, but I can make it work. <laughs> I can work with this. It's all good. So, yes. Maybe we just put these on these windows here. It's not as grand, but I'm pretty sure those colorways go and those curtains go together. So that's good. Maybe this should be the darker wood. I feel like you guys would prefer a darker wood for this. And to be honest, I think that suits our theme a bit better. And we could get like a couch seat for the corner here. Maybe not a couch seat, a corner seat is what I'm trying to say. Which one's the most old fashioned looking one? This is kind of old fashioned, but the cushions don't really look it. Maybe this is the safest option. It's just kind of plain. And why is that sitting so far out from the wall? Is that how they were made? It's interesting that it doesn't just kind of clip in like that. Uh, maybe we'll push it in further. Okay, so there's a little bit of purple now that we're working with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Put a couple of paintings up like that, a little flower bouquet. And now I think we just need some rugs and some toys to kind of make it look a little bit more homely and a little bit nicer for the kids. We could just put plain rugs in. I kind of want you guys to be able to go either way with this one. Like you could make a creepy storyline or you could actually make it into just a really nice, more old school kind of orphanage. <gasps> Oh, I'm so obsessed with these royal greens in this build. I just can't get enough of them. I love them. Okay, so this rug's a little bit smaller over on this side. It'd be nice if we could have the kids' pictures above their bed. Maybe they get their picture taken, like a picture of them above their bed. That seems a little bit more like an institution than a home, so maybe that's not really the nicest idea. But then at least you can know where each kid sits. Oh, wouldn't it be cute if we had like Simlish alphabet letters so you could have your letter name above your bed? I suppose each child could have a shelf and then put something that they like on the shelf so they personalize it to each of their tastes. Where's a nice small like short shelf? Something like this would probably work above the bed. Oh no, but then they don't have shelves over on these beds. Oh, that's too bad. So only these two beds get a shelf. <laughs> I just put like just a couple of random toys around here. There we go. So there's some toys there. What else? We probably need another type of rug in this corner. Maybe a rounded rug makes the most sense. If we can get it in a purpley color, I would be very happy. No, there's no purpley color. Do these come in a purple color? I mean, we could go with the reds and green. Eh, it kind of works. And I don't know what to put here. We could either put kids toys or maybe a third chair. 
I think actually just kids toys might work over here. So we could put maybe, what should they use? They'd probably like a violin. They could probably enjoy a toy box of some kind or description. I guess we could have maybe, oh, I just thought of toddlers. If we wanted to have a little toddler bed. Let's just have one toddler because it's just so cute. Just, that's adorable. Just, just one little one. <laughs> It's like a mini bed at the end of the other beds. Oh my gosh, too adorable. Okay, so there is one toddler apparently here, which means we're gonna have to put in a high chair. I know adding a toddler is going to make this a little bit more difficult, but it also makes it a little bit more interesting. And if you don't wanna have the toddler, that's fine. You can just remove the, the chair and just play with other kids, that's fine. Okay, so we've got one toddler bed. I think we'll just have one toddler and then we can have kids and teens. It also means that we will need a potty. Was there an older, more traditional potty? I don't think there is. So we'll just go with a plastic one in here. I might just put that there. Um, that does, mm, oh, I don't know what color to go with. We'll just go with blue to keep it simple. So we've got the toddler's needs covered. We put a dollhouse over here. Obviously this is a little bit in the way of the dollhouse, but the Sims aren't actually going to need to use those chests. So I think it's gonna be fine. Put a toy box here and a bookshelf. Maybe I'll just kind of put it on an angle like that and get a teddy bear. Oh, it looks so cute. I'm really liking this. Oh, I really wanna use this Harry Potter cot for the toddler. That's just so perfect. Some of the custom content items that are being made are just so good. Like they're just so impressive. I love this dolly toy. So maybe we'll put a dolly toy and a bear toy over here. Cause the kids are gonna be playing with these toys a lot. So we need to have enough of them to share. Maybe this dog, Mr. Snuggles. Uh, this old Mation one's kind of cute. Or maybe we'll go with this one. I wish it was a chow chow dog. Now that would be cute. And then for these walls over here, should we have one brick wall? That actually kind of looks cool, I think. So I'm gonna leave that in there. Do we have any special items or wall decor for kids that we might wanna use in here? Like the photos look a little bit modern. Oh, oh, school bags would be kind of cool. Let's maybe pop a, a few school bags around. I, mean, I don't really know why they'd need school bags here because they're learning in the same area, but I suppose they go to school some days, <laughs> maybe depending on your type of gameplay. Oh guys, these trunks would have been perfect at the ends of the beds if we were utilizing custom content, but we better not because again, some of you might want to download this. <laughs> Those trunks would have been honestly perfect. Maybe we'll just put these like kind of older looking but cool paintings up here. I don't know, I think they're really, they're kind of cool. Although they don't really look like kid friendly, do they? What would a kid like on their wall? Daisies? Everyone likes daisies, but again, it's not very vintage looking. What did kids in the olden days put on their walls? Like that is a good question. What did they actually stick on their walls? Maybe maps. Everyone loves a good map. Maps are interesting and educational and farmhouses are cool too. So there you go. We have, we have some cute things on the wall and maybe this like princess palace they can dream about meeting prince or princess charming and living in this castle or something like that. Okay, I think we've done pretty well. So we've just got the corridor left to do. Then we have these two rooms left to do. So let me know in the comments down below what you think these two rooms should be for. And then we also, which we might make into the butler's room or we could make a separate butler's room. And then we also have the outdoors. So we might have one or two parts left of this orphanage build, something like that. So yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. So, so.